and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for another competitive metagame challenge event. This time we're going to go with Orzov Vampires. Uh, you know, vampires have been pretty strong, um, and I really like the, the build that we have going on here. So last time, or the two times we played this, the one time we struggled against Mono Red um, and beat everything else, but then it, I put in some Oath of Kaya's into the main deck and Legion's End in the sideboard, and our matchup got a lot better. And then we, we struggled against Mono Blue last time, and I don't have a whole lot really uh, that I'm adding in against Mono Blue. Um, I know, like, we, of course, we went with, like, the fourth Zealot in the main that we didn't have before. That's, that's you know, doesn't really help against Mono Blue, but I think that uh, we just kind of ran into some opponents with some really good hands. I don't think we're necessarily that bad against Mono Blue in general. But yeah, what we have here is we just have um, our aggressive black-white deck with our vampire theme because of how powerful Soren Imperious Bloodlord is. This card is just really, really good with both of the, the pluses. And the first time that I struggled against Mono Red, I, I certainly was not using the second plus one ability to um, kill their creatures and use use that very aggressively. Um, and that was a big reason why I lost the first time playing the deck. Um, I really like a Johnny Adversary Tyrants. I think this card is very, very good. I, I really like this card. I think it's a lot better than other cards like Icon. I mean, a lot is hard to quantify, but I think it's better than other cards like Icon of Ancestry and um, Soren Vengeful Bloodlord. I don't know, whatever the... I wonder how close I was to that. Soren Venge, Vengeful Bloodlord. Wow. Nailed it. Always had it. I think it's better than than uh, both of those cards, which is why we have a, these Ajani's, but we don't really have room for all of, all of them. Um, so we just have those. Um, Champion of Dusk is awesome. Possibly should have another Champion of Dusk in here, but we gotta have a whole lot of one drops. Like we we wanna we wanna be we wanna have a lot of cheap creatures. Um, cheap the cheap vampires work really well with Soren. You wanna have a couple of vampires in play whenever you play Soren for that first tick up ability, and really for the second tick up ability you want cheap vampires you don't mind sacrificing. So there we go. All right, let's uh, go ahead and get started. Let's see how we do here with the vampires so we're going to do our competitive metagame challenge so this is an event where if we lose once we are done cost 2000 gold to enter and um you know like while the first you don't get a whole lot of rewards to start with but if you start getting three four five you know six seven wins like you get a ton of rewards if you can go seven and oh you get 5,000 gold in 30 packs. That's the dream. We just went 3-1 with Golgari Stompy, which is the best that we did yesterday. We had a whole lot of two-win runs. Like we, um, Our last four runs were all all two wins. Um, this one went to 3-0. Last time we went 3-0, so let's see if we can improve upon that with the vampires. Where are the vampires? They're soaring. I haven't really tried out the one mana one one life link death touch vampire. There is certainly a chance that, that that card is would end up being better than vicious conquistador, which is in my deck. I'm not sure. I honestly, I've, I just started with vicious conquistador and I've been fairly happy with it. I haven't changed it, but that is without me trying the other one one. No, you do not ascend fast enough for Twilight Prophet. And no, this is Twilight Prophet would not be as good as Icon of Ancestry or Soren Vengeful Bloodlord or Champion of Dusk. Yeah, Sanctum Seeker would likely be a better card than Twilight Prophet. It's just the 2-4 body just isn't very valuable for a 4-mana card. It's not strong enough for standard.
I don't like I don't like where this game's at. I don't like our chances of just a bunch of Adanto Vanguards against mana creatures. To be honest. I don't know specifically what I'd want to do with the gruel list to turn it into best of one. Basically, uh, this is just kind of a, a generic rule for turning decks into best of one. Uh, the Usually the best thing to do is to make the deck, uh, basically make it pre-boarded against like mono red or against like fast aggro. So take if you're taking a best of three deck, just just kind of look at the sideboard, look at like the cards that are good against aggro in the sideboard and move those over to the main deck and cut some main deck cards that are not very good against aggro. Now, I am I guess I probably should have preferenced this, but I guess I will What's the Preference is like before you're supposed to say something. What's like after you say something? It's not reference this. I don't know. Uh I will follow that statement by saying that I that I admittedly do not play very much best of one, so whether or not it really is like I always hear that's filled with aggro and everything, but maybe it's not, but prefaced. Pre prefaced? That's certainly tough defeating yeah, it's just aggro or esper. That's the the just the problem with the best of one format. It's really difficult to have a mid-range deck that beats aggro and beats Esper in with the same sixty cards without a sideboard. Depart Innistrad immediately. Or you will taste my the blood is the sign. Hmm. Caveat? Caveat's good. That's a good one. To this land, we are all connected. I just... I didn't think the, the lifelink mattered too much, and I just basically sapped, sacked the tapped creature instead of the untapped creature. I think the the untapped creature was more valuable, and it turned out to be here, because we would not have had... Like, they would have been able to kill Soren. Why they're attacking me and not Soren, I'm not sure. Willing to tap the Paradise Druid? Soren's pretty good.
Oh, that was not an auto tap fail. To be able to add a blue and a green, they had to tap the Paradise Druid and that. So it's, it's basically what I was saying is that they were willing to cast that Flood of Tears. Yeah, this could be an omniscient stack, I suppose. Thank you for your service. Well, they can't attack Sora now because of the Othakaya. All right, good job, Danto Vanguards. Ugh. All right, what do we want to do? Legion's End, of course, is awesome against the mana creatures. Conclave Tribunal, very good against Nyssa and the green. 5 6. Um, Baffling End can take out a Risen Reef if we want. I think I want Legion's End Tribunal. And I think I want to cut Conquistadors. Oops. Get you back. I think that like I think there's just a, a pretty decent chance that duress misses. While duress has some very quality targets. I think there's a good chance that it misses. Um, any A cards in the set review? Yeah, we like. I had a I had a few A minuses. Like you know, a good handful, like five ish A minuses, eight, or maybe a couple A's, A minuses. Like I had, think I think Big Chandra was like the only A. Um, I didn't give Risen Reef a, a real high grade to be honest, but I I thought it had a, a ton of potential. Like, if, I, like reading the card, I said, if there's an elemental deck, it'll be because of this card. But I just wasn't sold that there was an elemental deck. But, of course, there is. Um, so I gave it a, a lower grade just based on the, the type of deck that would likely play it. Well, I should have just played it onto Vanguard.
I mean, they're just holding up negate, right? But... I'll just get it out of their hand, I suppose. Oh, it was Grow Spiral. There we go. Cool, get these things out of here. We're dead. We'll see how we do for game three. Yep, this one's over. All right, well, good. They didn't they didn't load up on the Omnath, so if we draw a land, we could Othakaya the Omnath. And then we're in it again. Or we could just not draw land. You know, either one. Dang. Yep, this is turn five on the draw. Didn't draw a land. That'll do. No, I haven't, Be Golem. I haven't played any Scape Shift decks. So we'll trade four life. Instead of taking three from the Omnath, we'll take one more. Um, but then also get the shock out of their hands. Just drew a land, we'd actually kind of be in it. Oath of Kying the Omnath. We're not in it anymore. Let's play to Spark instead of Legions, and especially on the the play here. I'm not gonna Legions end away the one and two mana the mana creatures. Let's let's go with the Spark for Omnath, Thorn Elemental, Nissa, that kind of stuff. Yeah, Amplitory, There's there's not. There's not really a a best kind of thing. It's it's what you what you're comfortable with, what 
you know, like you just kind of have to, you have to pick a, pick a way to go and, you know, work, work on whatever, you know, the, the list that, that you like that, you know, you, you need to ha find your deck list. Cause yeah, a lot of people play a few different numbers of different cards and everything. Um, you know, just cause like there's like, I'm playing a specific number of, of whatever card in whatever deck doesn't mean that you want that many of that card or maybe you want more or, you know, or so on. Um, you kind of have to, don't, don't try to worry about what's the exact best, but kind of think of a plan. What, what are you going to use to try to win a match as a magic? You don't have to have the absolute best. You just have to have something that's better than what your opponent's doing. Can I keep these six? Land Garner. Thank you so much there, Land, for that support there with the sub. I really appreciate that. Getting the hype in there. That is sub number three on the day. Looks like opponent has a really good hand with mana creature on turn one and turn two. difficult to beat our five card hand our five card hand is certainly nice whoa they didn't play anything I am proud strength is born of struggle Wow, just took it all. What do they got going on over here? All right, Flood of Tears. Fair enough. Yeah, the land. Hey, the lands helped us out this game, though. You know, they didn't help us last game. They helped us this game. Oh, thanks, Land Garner. Yeah, glad glad you're enjoying the YouTube videos. And thanks for coming over here and subscribing. I really appreciate that. <clears throat> they played Flood of Tears to bounce and just returns all permanents back to their owner's hands. That's what they did there. Um, I think that's just, just a really small sample size pouty of playing against Ban Flash those three times in a row. I don't think that's really too indicative about any particular thing. I was, of course, hoping that they were going to take... You are in need. You can still fight. I was hoping they were going to take one of them. And we were, would have been able to play the Soren and kill them. 
but that'll do. You don't always play against somebody with the same record as you, so don't don't just think that, okay, I have four wins in the metagame challenge, so my opponent also has four wins. That's not really how it goes. You don't they try to pair you with somebody kind of close, but you also just get paired against somebody. Like you could you could be at six wins and playing against somebody with zero wins. That that certainly can happen, so. Most funny deck to play at the moment. Hmm. Most funny deck. Maybe... Probably Demir Tesserator. Just that that tick up that plus two the claw, <laughs> that's pretty fun. The the claw is awesome. Yeah, I'd have to say Demir Tesserator get just any any reason to get that plus two in there and get that claw animation. It's pretty awesome. All right, want to know? I'm probably going to be playing Rakdos Aristocrats tomorrow. I think tomorrow we're going to be having a... Sunday fun day stream where I play some off the beaten path decks. Um, it may be a 12 hour stream tomorrow if we hit two sub goals today. We're only two sub goals away from a 12 hour stream right now, so we need, you know, 17 more subscribers today. So if we get there, hmm. No Priest of Forgotten Gods in this deck. So yeah, whenever you're starting out... I would recommend... And yes, I will trade Lieutenant for Steamkin if they want to do that trade. Um, you, you, you really need to just kind of pick, pick a deck that you like, that you want to play and kind of go, go from there and, and focus your wild cards on that deck. That's what, that's what I'd recommend, especially if you're not spending money, um, that just to, to get the one deck kind of thing. That's fortunate, not a chain whirler. Proud to have come so far. You are capable of more than you assume. Huh. 
I knew you needed my help. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Hmm. Look how far you have come. This, you know, obviously, like attacking here, the damage goes to a Johnny. I don't like attacking Chandra, but I don't know if. We can realistically not attack Chandra. Feel my pain. I'm becoming irritated. We're at a, a really healthy life total. I'm, I'm paying four life to put a counter on the Knight of the Ebon Legion. I think that that's something that can be worth it. Sit back and watch it burn. Ooh, that was a good draw. That was a good hit off of the frenzy. Soren. Why do they have to have this firebrand that they get to chump block with? Hmm. I really want to send two creatures at Chandra. I don't. They aren't very close to ultimating Chandra, so yeah, maybe I just shouldn't be sending any creatures at Chandra. But I have to attack with all three, even though like leaving some stuff back to be able to block for my planeswalkers is kind of nice. But I have to attack with all three, of course, to flip the the first forts. You cannot hurt my hollow soul. All right, so we're in down. Perhaps there is a peaceful solution. Mm. 
So they can kill either a Johnny or Soren, but not both. No, no real plans to make a Simic Flash deck right now. This is not my final demise. I wouldn't be surprised if we make one. I just, I just don't have any plans to make one right now. So I play Legion's Landing, I activate Legion's Landing, I flip the other landing, I have three mana. <clears throat> Not enough to activate again. This kind of forces their hand. If they want to have the Firebrand shoot one of these, they don't get to block with the Firebrand also. I will lend you my strength. I have to, like, do this because, like, this Legion's Landing is going to flip. So I need to activate this other one first also. Yeah, I definitely love a Johnny in this deck. Johnny's great. Alright, so they're going to take out the Zealot. No, couldn't, couldn't activate the second landing. As you can see here, but I, I mean, I could have the night activation, but that's it. That's it. So at two, we got four lethal attackers coming in. They have to be worried about. Cease this. Was a perfect draw step. Well, I mean, it's not like perfect, perfect. You know, Soren, Soren would have just ended the game by doing three damage to them, but you know, this one effectively ends the game. All right, baffling end, tribunal, legions, and Vona, cutting. Vanguard. I don't really love Aspirant, Zealot, Landing. Those cards. Either. So it's okay though. That, that draw card's pretty nice. Maybe we get rid of one. Alright, let's give this a try. 
I think I usually cut like one Champion of Dusk. I don't know, Champion of Dusk is pretty awesome. It's definitely possible my curve's too high. I don't mind making that um, mistake and or, I don't know, oversight or, or what. I don't, I don't mind erring. There we go. I don't mind erring on the side of having too high of a mana curve on the draw when you get that extra card. Yeah, Dispark. Dispark's good against Frenzy and Chandra, of course. Um, hmm. So obviously I'm hoping no Chain Whirler. Cool. I'm going to have the Sorin sack the Zealot to kill the Steamkin. Or I could just Othakaya. Othakaya. It's probably good to have in, in play first before I play Soren. Risky attack. Certainly. Because, you know, they could have just had any spell and grown their Steamkin. I don't want to play Knight of Ebon Legion and let Knight of Ebon Legion die to shock, basically. Which is why, another reason why I didn't, like, let, play it on turn one and, like, I'm waiting. I'm waiting till the, like, later on in the game we'll be able to just play this and have the activation up to, like, always make it a three, or a four, five, basically at all times. That Aspirant was the card that I was planning on blocking with. Yeah, I really don't want to trade Soren for Lightning Strike. I'm playing Conquistador over Dire... I talked about that this before, but I'm playing it over Dire Moon Vampires because basically I just started with the card and I've been fairly happy with it and haven't really tried Dire Moon Vampire. I am willing to concede that Dire Moon Vampire may be better. There's definitely a good chance that it is, but I just, I just kind of started with Conquistador and have kept it. 
I already have a ready buff for the knight if they're gonna kill the knight. Knight only costs three to activate, not four. Good job, Sith. Hmm. What a killer. That was a great, great turn for them. Fight with fire. That one got me. Yeah, that was a great turn for them. We couldn't have that Legion dead earlier when they had the triple steam kid. Ugh, last card, Chandra. Yeah, that fire with fire chain whirler combo. Pretty awesome. I said that my curve's probably too high and I have too much top end. Well, so these draw steps would, you know, any of these draw steps would be a nice time to draw something. I'll take a champion of dusk or a Vona or some more lands. All right, well, we'll be on the play for game three. I have not survived millennia to stand down now. A lot of lava coils. So we saw a fight with fire, three lava coils. I want this other Zealot in on the play. I want the card advantage. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with my microphone. It's worked very well ever since I bought it. No complaints about it. Ah, uh, man, Matthew, I'm super jealous. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see if this can take it down. So if I, if I play Legion's Lieutenant attack, it moves me up to like shock, uh, light at the stage. 
Well, I'm still opened up to Shock Light at the stage. I guess Firebrand Light at the stage. It's not my Legion's Lieutenant dying. At least. Uh, I'll just be able to hit their land drops. Alright, well... We had to play the Legion's Lieutenant here before a Chain Whirler comes down. Honestly, maybe I should just be playing Baffling End here, but I wanted to Baffling End other creatures, ideally. But we have we have the two Conclave Tribunals. Like my Conclaves are like my answers to Experimental Frenzy and Chandra. Certainly hoping no Chain Whirler. Bleh. Also just hoping that we find our three, four, and five mana cards. You know, haven't seen our Vonas, Champion of Dusks, the Johnnies, Soren. Want any of those things. Oath of Kaya is good. I'll take that. That's a 3, 4, 5 mana card. It's a 3, it counts. Obviously, we need one more land before we can play five mana cards, but I'm not too worried about us getting one more land. That's That's been the problem. We need three, four, and five drops. Watch it burn. Come on, deck. There's no problem fire can't solve. Man, it must be nice to be drawing spells. Dang. There's a bunch of lands in a row there. I don't know, I kept, as we talked about, I kept my curve high, kept a whole bunch of top end in, because how like that, how those games two and three played out are kind of what I expect, just a lot of spells trading for each other, and then, you know, like the top end cards kind of taking over, you know, so I kept all, the, I kept all, all of this top end and added in the Vonas, and just didn't, you know, games two and three. I guess we drew one Soren the game two after we were, like, already dead. But, I don't know. Just not going not gonna to have any of those, I suppose. 
yeah, I plan on doing some some different kind of tutorial video type things for the YouTube channel um, later on. I'm not real close to doing that, but I, I am planning on doing other YouTube only videos. No, you can't target spells with like shock before they enter the battlefield. No, they, they have to be on the battlefield in order for you to target them with shock. Um, no, I don't think we'd want to drop a land. Like I'm only playing 23 lands. I'm not actually playing that many lands. Uh, the Zealots definitely did help draw more lands. I mean, that's why I kept all these Zealots in, too, because I wanted more ways to draw to these cards. We just, just didn't, you know? The only thing that I'm not sure about still, you know, I didn't bring in Dispark. I could have had Dispark, you know, instead of, like, my one Conquistador and my one Legion's Landing. Like, those two could have been Disparks. But, you know, taking out even more Vampires is going to make Soren worse, of course. Um, I know I had, the, I had the Conclave Tribunals to answer big things, but... I don't know, our opponent just did a lot better job of drawing their eight big spells, you know, like with their frenzies and chandras they just drew multiple of those and we couldn't draw any of our like sorens ajani's champions or vonas we have a lot more oh well that's how it goes all right so let's see um debating trying to Trying to think if I should run it back and run another league here with the vampires or move on to the next two decks. With Sultai and Teemer. These things can take a little while, these these challenges and everything. If we play another one. Okay, move on. Next deck. Okay. More vamps. Because if we play another one here with the vampires, we may not have time for like the elementals, for example. Um I wouldn't I wouldn't really go back to it because of like for the YouTube YouTube video. Like this video is probably like less than an hour. Yeah, we we could have a vote. All right, we'll have a 30 second poll. Um How should I say this? Um Either type vampire or sultai. If you want me to go to sultai or play another league, play one more league with the vampires here. <laughs> so you can type, you have 30 seconds, type either Sultai or Vampire. All right, looks like people want us to move on. So we'll be playing. I mean, I like this deck a lot. Like these these decks that I'm playing in this metagame challenge are decks that I am confident uh, in winning with. We'll be playing this again this week. You know, like how we play decks. You know, we'll be playing it again in a couple of days. But all right, so that's Orzhov Vampires here for the metagame challenge. Um, if you're watching it on later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. But thanks so much for watching Orzov Vampires, and I'll see you for the next league.